Now we're going to work on this back section here, but before we do that, we're going to make a couple quick changes. We can see on the front, we have a little, little shading problem here. It's not really much of a problem, but the side is where it's actually a little bit more of a problem. So to fix that, what we're going to do is just go into edit mode by pressing tab, press control R to add in a loop cut, left click. And then we're going to press E to enable the edge option and press F to flip it so that it's on this, that the red square is on this edge line. And then just bring this in close, something like that. That'll fix the, uh, the shading issue here, but mostly the one that was on the side is, is gone now. So that's pretty much all we had to do there. And in the back view, what I wanted to do is um, we talked about how this part of the mesh was supposed to be indented a bit. We never actually did that, so we're just going to press tab to go back in edit mode. Select one of these vertices, press period to focus in on it. Switch to face select, hold alt, right click to get this whole edge loop. And we're going to deselect all of the faces that are from this point on. So we're going to do C for circle select, middle mouse to deselect. And I actually wanted this face here, so I'm going to select that face there. And just make sure that's all you have for faces is these right here. And then we're just going to pull it in a little. Something like that. And since we move this in, we're also going to have to move in uh, this part that's behind it. So we're just going to right click on this. Z for wireframe, go to vertex select, select this top vertex, and bring this back until it's no longer hiding this part of the car. And we're going to have to do the same for the bottom one, so it's this vertex I believe, and we're going to have to move this one in until the bottom becomes visible again, something like that. So now we have that little bit of indent, uh, indent right here like we're supposed to. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and save this real quick. So go to File, Save. And now let's work on this part. So before we indent this, before we bring it down lower, it's always a good idea to have an extra set of edges uh, going around this so that the shading doesn't get totally messed up. I'll show you real quick what it would look like if we just did um, an indent without the extra edges. You don't have to follow along. I'm just doing this as an example. So you get like this really nasty shading on the outside and it's really not good. So to fix that, I'm just going to undo this. We're going to go back to where we started. We're just going to Alt right click, press F to make a face, press I then B to eliminate the border or turn the border option on. Make a very small indent or a small inset. Something like that is going to be fine. Then press delete, choose faces. Now we're going to alt right click again, get the innermost edge loop, C for circle select and deselect all these vertices so all these bottom ones should be deselected. Then we're going to press E to extrude, right click to cancel, drag this down. Then press S, Z and 0 to flatten it out on the Z axis. And we're actually going to snap it to this point here, at least on the Z axis. So you can either grab this uh, Z arrow or you can do G, Z, hold control and then snap it so that it's perfectly in line. And then we're going to fill in this face here. So select these four faces or four vertices and then press F. So that gives us the outermost part. You'll notice that that shading problem is not there anymore. We have nice clean edges around the outside so that's very nice. Now what we want to do is hold alt and right click on this. We're going to deselect these ones again. And actually let's just hold alt and right click and then press F to make a face here. 
and then we can fill these in by pressing J but first what we want to do we notice we got two points up here there's only one point down there so we're gonna make these into one point so right click on this to select it shift right click this alt M at center now we can join these two points by pressing J and we have one two three four five six seven here so we can select this edge do subdivide and change this number to seven and now we can start joining these together by selecting one shift selecting the other and pressing J to join so that gives us this We do have some shading issues. Maybe we can try adding in a loop cut and see if we can get rid of that. I don't think that's going to help though. Actually, what we want to do is add one like this. So we're going to do Control R, add in a loop cut right here, drag it in nice and close, and that'll help correct that shading issue that was right here but we actually don't need all these vertices so we're gonna get rid of most of them so we're going to do C for circle select and just start removing some of our selection so we're gonna leave this top one here and we're gonna deselect everything between all the way down to here and then press delete dissolve edges now we can right click this shift right click this alt M at last and then do the same up here select this shift select this alt M at last so now we have this result we're gonna go ahead and save this go to file and save you can see that the shading back here is not the best. This has been a problem for a while and we just haven't really addressed it. So in order to fix this, we're just going to press tab to go into edit mode. We're going to press G twice to slide this vertex down. Do the same with this. But you actually notice that there is there was two vertices in that spot. So you can press Z for wireframe, C for circle select and make sure you have two vertices selected. And you can shift select this one, alt M, and choose at last so that they'll merge to that point. Now what we want to do is switch to edge select and select these three edges. Now press subdivide. We can hold alt and right click to get this whole edge. Loop Q to slide it up to basically match with this. Then we can go back to vertex select and then join these two by pressing J. And you'll notice now the shading looks a little better, except from this angle, it looks a little different, but shading overall looks a little better. And we didn't have to add too many vertices to make that happen. We could slide this vertex over a little and see what happens, try to correct the shading a little more. But that's going to be fine for now. So the next thing we want to add in that little fin thing that's on the back you can kind of see it here a little fin thing and we can also see it in this view so we can notice that it actually curves towards the back like here curves towards the back like this and the front although it's hard to see in this picture actually curves towards the front a little bit as well this is actually a slightly different car. You can see that the back is not the same as the one that we're making. But I'm pretty sure that this part of the car is the same because I've looked at other pictures that are the same as the one we're making and it looks the same as this. So although this is a slightly different version of the Lamborghini Gallardo, it is basically the same as far as this little fin thing goes. So we're going to follow this. So to make that, we're just going to make sure we're in edit mode by pressing tab. We're going to go to top view by pressing 7. And 
what we want to do is actually we want to make sure we get this top edge loop so we're going to hold alt and right click here to get this top edge loop the innermost one and Z for wireframe and we're going to see for circle select to deselect all these and then the other vertex that we want is this one here so we're going to select that vertex right there and then we're going to do shift D to duplicate right click to cancel and we're going to do shift H to hide the rest of the car select this vertex E to extrude right click to cancel drag it to the center We're going to need two more points here, so we're going to select, go to Edge Select, select this edge, subdivide, and change this to two. Now go back to Vertex Select, select. Looks like we may have gotten an extra vertex here. I think we need to select these two and press F and then delete this vertex. So we're going to start with that. And real, we're just going to select these two and then press F, F, and then F. Press Alt H to unhide everything. And I guess I was wrong that we didn't, we did need to, we'll snap this vertex instead. So we're going to do select link just to make sure we have the correct vertex. And then deselect all these. So this is the only one that should be selected. And we're going to snap it to this very edge one. So press G, hold control, and snap it. So now we have this result. You can already see that we're starting to get it, but it looks a little looks a little blocky. That's because the smooth shading is not enabled. So we're just going to, in object mode, turn on smooth shading again. And now it's going to look a little better. But we do need some depth to this, so we're just going to do select linked again. And first, we actually want to make our curve. So we want to make our nice curve like we have back here. So it's skinnier on the ends, and then it gets fatter as you get towards the center. So we're going to make it skinnier on the ends by deselecting these. So I'm going to start with this edge vertex and just bring it back. You can use vertex slide if you want by pressing G twice and bringing it back closer like this. And I'm just going to reposition these as well. Just trying to make it a little bit larger as you get to the back. Something like that should be fine. And I did notice that this part's actually supposed to be curved back a little, I think, from what I've seen. So we're going to just select all these and just curve this back a little and do the same here and do the same here until we have something like this we can also curve this one back some too because it's the only one that we didn't didn't really get to curve by doing that selection there. So now this is pretty good. The only problem I see is that these are kind of sloping downward and I'm not really sure that they should be. So I'm going to select all these S, Z, and then 0 and drag these up some. And then drag them up again. We could if we want to just uh, vertex snap these. So if we do select linked, then do shift H, we can vertex snap these on the Z axis to their counterparts. We'll probably leave this one alone. And then do a slight downward curve for these. So now that we, they were vertex snapped, we're going to bring them down a little bit. Then do Alt H to unhide select this vertex and then select linked now we're going to give it that depth so we're going to make it about this deep so press E to extrude right click to cancel and then drag it down about as far as you think you should you can go to back view with control 1 to try to get a better indication this is probably about how it should be 
but now you can see the shading's all messed up. I think we have to fix the normals, so do select linked, mesh normals, and recalculate outside. So that kind of fixed it, but there's still issues. So we're going to go to face select, select these top faces, press I to inset, B to enable the border. Do a small little inset right here. That'll help fix the top. Now we got to fix down here. So we're going to select these faces. I and then B. Do a small inset again. So now we have this result. This looks a lot better than what we had before. So we can go ahead and save this. So go ahead and go to file and save. One thing I'd like to change is the curvature of this back part of the car. Not just the fin, but the car itself. We can see that it's kind of straight right here. And it comes to a point, or it looks like it comes to a point. And I'd rather have this more curved, so we're just going to press tab to go to edit mode. Control 1 for back view. Switch to vertex select. Press Z for wireframe. Select one of these vertices. C for circle select. And get all of them. Then just bring them up closer to the reference. And we're actually going to bring these down some. And I'm still not happy with this position, so I'm going to bring these down a little. And change the position of these some. And just go until you get something that you're more satisfied with. I think for me that's going to be good, so I'm just going to go ahead and save this again by going to File and Save. 